There are about five major things that will happen to every chosen person. Meaning every chosen person will experience these five major things that I'm about to talk about. Well, there's a lot, but these five that I'm about to talk about are the major things. The first thing is a chosen person will be isolated will experience a season of isolation. We call it a season of preparation because before manifestation, there must be a preparation. I'll give an example. When you read the Bible, you realize that David is anointed at the age of 15 but becomes a king at the age of 30. It doesn't mean that he did not have the anointment. He had the anointment, but he was not yet appointed. Why? Because every time God chooses somebody, God colleges somebody. And it is in that colleging, it is in that training that God will isolate that person. It is in isolation that God will bring elevation. We are elevated once we graduate in isolation. And how do we graduate in isolation? We graduate by getting the revelation of who we are, what God wants us to do, who he wants us to do it with, and when. And as long as you have not picked up what I just said, you will remain there for a long time and you start feeling like you're being rejected. You're not rejected. The chosen ones, they don't get rejected. They get directed. I know you say, but I'm experiencing rejection. No, that's not rejection. It's God directing you. It could be you're trying to fit in, yet you're meant to stand out. It could be you're trying to be around a company that is going to drain you. It could be you're trying to be around people who are going to pull you down. So as a result, God is actually protecting you from them. So you feel like you're being rejected. The chosen ones, they don't get rejected. As a matter of fact, they get directed. So every time you start feeling like, you know what, I've been isolated. I'm in isolation. What is happening? Why do I... It's not being lonely. No, 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 no. It's isolation. And every chosen person will go through that. It's just that we have a lot of people who are trying to arrive before they depart. God will capacitate you in private and he will show off through you in public. So he does it by first hiding you, isolating you. And right there, he will equip you. Then the second thing that happens, and this one is very, very prophetic as well to the chosen ones, is that they will have vivid dreams, you know, uh, lucid dreams. And it will happen frequently. Meaning you'll have clear dreams, right? Dreams that happen. Uh, most of the time, you will have recognition, moments where you feel like you have seen that moment, you have seen the event. It's because this happens to the chosen ones, right? And to be deeper in it, dreams or the dream realm is a state or a province for the chosen ones because there God will reveal who is who in our lives. Even people who are trying to pretend to be something that they are not in our lives, who have a hidden agenda, God will expose them in our dreams. So this is a state and this is a province for the chosen ones. I wish I could talk about that and go deeper, but let's continue. Then the third thing that will happen to you as a chosen one is you start finding favor with men and with God. Contrary to popular belief, a lot of people think if you're chosen by God, you'll have a lot of people hating you. That's not true. That's another teaching from the devil. No, it's not like that. Sometimes people hate themselves. They don't take care of themselves. They don't like themselves. And they start wondering why people are not liking them and they don't appreciate them. It's because you yourself, you don't appreciate yourself and you don't appreciate what God has put in you. So you are actually rejecting yourself and you are putting it on other people saying people are rejecting you. It doesn't work like that. If you are chosen by God, you find favor with men and you find favor with God. And that is because men now becomes your audience, becomes the platform that God will put you in, right? So it's important for you to understand that. People will love you. As a matter of fact, you'll have people who love you more than people who hate you. I'm not talking about the world. We can't be loved by the world. We are not of the world. But the people that God has sent you to, they will receive you with, uh, with, with open hands. People will, you'll have more people loving you than people who, are, who hate you. Then the fourth thing that will happen to um, every chosen person is that you'll always bounce back. You'll fall seven times only to rise 70 times. Chosen ones are unstoppable and not because of their might or their power. 
or their intellectual capacity is because they are chosen by God. These ones are favored by God. God's hand is on them. You will bury them, the next thing they will germinate. They don't die, they multiply. They are unstoppable. You can't betray them thinking that just because you have exited their lives, they will mount up to nothing. They will surprise you. They will do it 10 times better without you. You will close this door here and only to realize they are coming out through the window. You close the window, they come out through the roof. You know, they are unstoppable. They will always bounce back. And my advice to every chosen person is that every time you bounce back, show no mercy. Then the fifth thing, which in this case will be the last one, right? Of course, there are many things, but in this case will be the last one, is that if you are chosen by God, you will start seeing, hearing, smelling, feeling, and sensing things that other people don't sense. In another words, you see, for a lack of a better word, your intuition increases. Your discernment, your ability to discern, right, is on another level. You can be looking at one person with somebody, but start seeing and feeling their spirit, their intentions, their heart. The Bible speaks about the word of God being the discerner of the hearts of men, right? Meaning you now know the intention of this, intentions of this person, the motive. Somebody can come and say this, this. You, you're not hearing just their words, but you are hearing what they are not saying. That's why sometimes the chosen person can be in a relationship with a person. And once that relationship ends, the chosen one will come and say, I knew that this person, I knew it. And how did they know it? They knew by what? By intuition, by discernment. But they still what? Went ahead because they did not trust what they were hearing at that time. So, if you are a chosen person, a chosen by God, you will experience these five things. If you want us to continue, just uh, put it on the comment section there and say part two. And then I can maybe come back and do at least ten other things that we can talk about.